after understanding your critical net area, your gross area, and solving for the area of a section for attention members, now we are going to analyze how you are going to solve for the allowable load or for the stress experienced by your attention members. So we have two examples. The first one, okay, for the first situation you are given with a single 200 millimeter by 10 millimeter steel plate that is connected to a 12 millimeter thick steel plate by four 16 millimeter diameter rivets as shown in the figure. And the rivets used is A502 grade 2 hot driven rivets which corresponds to a shear force of 152 and the steel used is ASTM A36 which has an equivalent FY of 248 megapascal and an ultimate strength of 400 megapascal. Now we are asked to determine what is the safe value of P. So so figure natin, we have a figure. Again, we are analyzing our system in four cat or in five categories rather. First one is your tension on gross area. The next one is your tension on the critical or effective net area. We are also testing our system for shear strength or shear. We are also testing for the bearing capacity of our plate or our connection. And we are also testing the limit for a block shear. So definitely, having this limit state, we are just applying your principle of your stress, which is your stress is equal to your force applied to a given area. So for example, tension on gross area, your stress equivalent here, can, the actual stress experience on gross area can be equated to the allowable tension stress for the system and your P is your tensile force and your A is the area or your gross area. Same with the area on the tension on effective net area, your stress experience is the stress experienced by your effective net area, your force is the tension force and the area is the area of effective, the effective net area. For the shear, you're having this shear happens on the bolts. So we have a shear force over the area of shear. So for this shear, this is the shear experienced by the bolt. For, for the bearing, this is the bearing on our plate. Of course, that is the bearing force given over the area of the bearing. And for the black shear, it's the combination of your shearing and tearing. So let's start with your given problem. Since what is given to us is the diameter of your rivet or the diameter of the bolt, which is equal to 16 mm, we are required to have the diameter of the hole, which is equal to the diameter of the bolt plus 1.6 millimeter. Or simply, that is 16 plus 1.6 which is 17.6 millimeter now first limit state of us is your tension on gross area for the tension of on gross area again we have your actual tensile stress which is your tensile force over the area of your gross section we can equate for us to have, since we are looking for the load P or the allowable load can, carry, can be carried by your area or the gross area, we can equate your actual stress to your allowable stress. And your allowable stress is actually equal to 0 0.6 of your Fy. Therefore, 
for us to solve for the value of P, you will have your 0 0.6, your FY is 248, for at 836 still, your P is unknown, and your gross area is simply 200 by 10. Why? We have two plates attached to one another. Yes. The first one has a thickness of 10 millimeters, and the second one has a thickness of 12 millimeters. So since we have two thickness available, we will just select the least thickness, for it is more vulnerable, or we can expect the failure may happen sa mas manipis na plate, which is 10 millimeters. So in our case, for the grass section, the width of the plate is 200 times 10. So the value of your P for the gross section area, tension on gross area is 297.6 kilonewton. So take note of the values na nakukuha natin for P because we are going to select what is our safest value of P na hindi siya magfe-fail on a other cases. So we will take note that our force and attention on gross area is equal to 297.6 kilo newton. So now let's proceed in solving our tension on net area. So again, since this is we are asked to solve for the value of P, we can have your actual stress as the force over the area which is your critical effective net area. And we can equate this to your allowable which is 0 0.5 of your ultimate strength. Or simply that is 0 0.5. The value of your FU is 400. Now what is the value of your, your P is a no. And now, we are asked to solve for your AE. So, your plate is shown like this. For us to solve for your AE, we will create a section. So, your tensile for is applied actually from your section. So, kukunin natin yung area na tinatamaan which is this, and this is also uniform to this, so wala din tayong staggered, kaya nagka-cut lang tayo dito para makapag-expose tayo ng section, in which your net area is equal to the gross area minus the area of the bolts, or we can have this B minus summation of holes times your thickness. So simply your AN is equal to 200 minus 2. The diameter of our holes is 17.6 millimeters and our thickness is 10, which gives us the value of your AN as 1,648 square millimeter. Let's, let us check whether your AE is less than or greater than your allowable AE, which is 85% of your gross area. So the 85% of AG is equal to 0 0.85 of 200 times 10. And this will give us a value of 1,700. Since 85% of your AG is greater than your AN, therefore, your AE is equal to 1,600. Kapag ka, yung AN natin or the most critical net area is greater than or equal to the 85% of your gross area, you will consider that your effective net area is 85% of your gross area. But in our case, since 
AN is less than 85%, we will consider that your AN, which is 1,648, is your effective net area. So this is 1,648 square millimeter, which will give us a value P ten on tension on net area, which is equal to 329.6 kilo newton. So again, we will take note that our force for tension on net area, the local force for tension on net area, is equal to 329.6 kilo newton. Now, the third consideration is your shear on rivets or shear on the bolts. So, for the shear on the bolts, so your shear stress, the actual, actual shear stress, that is the force, shear force, over the area of shear. For your shear force, this is unknown. Your actual shear for shear stress can be equal to your allowable shear stress, which is equal to according to the given for a 502 rivets, we will use 152 mega pascals. And your AV or the area of your shear, so on our figure, we have four volts, that is the number of volts times the area of each volt, or simply the diameter of the volt squared. So in our case, that is four times pi over four, and the diameter of the volts is 16 millimeter squared. That will give us 804.4. 248 square millimeter. Now we can use the formula, which is when your allowable is equal to actual, you have 152 equal to your shear force, which is the unknown, and our shear area is 804.248. And our load P is equal to In kilonewton, that is 122.246 kilonewton. So again, this is the shear force. So we will note this, that your shear force is 122.246 kilonewton. For the next consideration, we will test or we will undergo our system on the bearing property. So for the given plate, paano ba tayo magkakaroon ng bearing area? So our bearing area, or simply our actual bearing stress, is equal to your bearing force over your bearing area. This actual bearing stress can be equal to 1.2 or for the allowable that is 1.2 of your FU. So your allowable bearing stress is equal to 1.2 of your FU. And your the area of your bearing is equal to the summation of the diameter of the plate multiplied to your thickness. In our case, we have four bolts, the diameter of each bolt is 16 millimeters and our thickness to consider is your 10 millimeter thickness which will give us for the area of bearing force is equal to 640 square millimeters. Now, for the force, we can solve your force as 1.2, your FU is 400, your P is what is unknown for us, and your A is 640 
square millimeter. Therefore, the value of your P is equal to three hundred seven point two kilo newton. So always be careful, ah, in solving our P. We are considering kilonewton. Baka yung lumalabas sa calculator nyo is 307,000. So, that is in, in newtons. So, for our bearing force, that is 307.2 kilonewton. For a black shear or shear rupture, let us draw your figure. So, let's say that this is your figure and this is your actually loaded tension. This is your bolts. So, now, always remember, for your block shear, always consider that when the direction of your path is parallel with your force, that is a shear. This is a shear. And when it is perpendicular, that is a tearing. So, this is a shear and this is a tearing. So, for a black shear, that is a combination of shearing and tearing. So, our force is equal to the allowable shear stress times the area of shear plus the allowable tearing stress times the area of tearing. So, how we are going to solve for the allowable stresses? The allowable stresses for shear is 0 0.3 of Fu and the allowable tearing is equal to 0 0.5 of your Fu. For the area, for example, the area of shear. For example, we consider a path that our shearing and tearing will happen like this. Okay. Yung principle natin dito, kapag ka pinupull natin to, paano ba mangyayari yung tearing natin? Pwedeng mangyari is the possible tearing and shearing that may happen is pwedeng pag pinull natin yung at na pull natin to with our tension force, mag-tear yung ating system ng ganito. Pwede naman mag-shear siya dito tapos mag-tear siya dito. Or we can have this one. Yan. So, whatever the list na makukuha natin, that is the critical block shear. Pwede rin naman na sabay, ang may iwan sa atin pagka naghatak tayo, mag-shear and tear yung part na ito and this part. So, for me, iyon yung consider natin sa problem na ito. So, kukunin lang natin yung total length nito. So, according to our given, sa given natin, nakatayo siya, hiniga ko lang siya. This is, from here to here, is 35. And from here to this, is 100. And the other way around, this is 50. And the distance between bolts is 100. And another 50 from the edge. So, for the area of shear, yung length of, total length of shear natin is 35 plus 100. So, that is the total length. Ang ginagawa lang natin dito is length times the thickness. Okay, the total length natin is 35 minus 100. However, since meron tayong hole, ilalas natin yung length of our hole, which is equal to 1 but that, that this is not a hole hindi natin i-consider nang buo yung hole natin kasi from the middle of your bolt magkakaroon nagsisimula naman yung tearing so ang consider lang natin that is 1 plus a half or 1.5 ililess natin yung 1.5 of the diameter of the hole which is 
and multiply to the thickness which is 10. So, what is our shear area? is 35 plus 100. So our area of shear is 1086. So if we will consider our shearing will and tearing will happen on both sides since ito isang side lang to. How about this side? Equal multiply lang natin to into 2 which will give us 2,172 square millimeters. If you multiply your by 2, we will have 2,172. How about the area of tearing? Same lang naman. For the area of tearing, we will have the total area or total length of tear which is if we consider, since our consideration is, this is your tear, that is from the middle to that, that is 50. That is 50 millimeters for the total length. But, that is from the mid, middle or midpoint of your hole. So, we, might, we will subtract half of your hole, that is 17.6. So, for the area of your tearing, your total length is 50 minus half of your 17.6 multiplied to your thickness of 10. And also, we will multiply this by 2 for the both sides. So, we will have your tearing area as 824 square millimeter. So, we will fit this to this formula that your P is equal to 0 0.3 of your FU which is equal to 400 times your AV which is 2,172 plus 0 0.5 of your FU which is 400 multiplied to the area of tearing. Again, the area of tearing is 824 and your force P is equal to four hundred twenty five point four four zero kilonewton. You can actually try another path. How about this path? Pagpuro tearing lang tayo. Pag puro tearing lang tayo, wala tayong shear, we can have that is 50 plus 100 plus 50, that is 200, minus yung number of bolts natin na pasok sa length natin is 2. Subtract natin yun na times the diameter of the hole which is 17.6. Multiplied to your thickness, which is 10. So, your total area is 1,648 and your force or your allowable stress is 0.5 of 400. So, in that case, you can have 329.6 kilonewton. But, in that case, that is actually, pagkakasikinuhan natin yung part na to na tearing, pag ito yung natin, this is actually the same as your tension on net area. Yeah. So, yun yung same value na makukuha natin. We can have naman sharing plus a sharing. You can also have that one. So, it's up to you what will you consider. Uh, it is important to consider every little scenario kasi mga mamaya, dun pala mag-fail yung system natin sa kung saan yung hindi natin na-consider. So, now, given the values of P na meron tayo for us to consider what is the safe value of P that can be loaded to our given 
connection, we will select the list among the five limit states. So for us to have the safest value of P, we will just select the list among the five limit states. So in our case, the list among the five is 122.246 kN. So that is your allowable or the safest force that can be applied to the system. Why we are selecting the list force? Kasi, for example, if we load 297.6 sa system natin, pwedeng hindi tayo mag-fail with the tension on net section, with the bearing, with the black shear, or hindi tayo mag-fail with the tension on gross area. But, since ang capacity lang natin with shear is 122.242, mag-fail tayo sa shear. So, ang magiging failure natin is the shear on your bolts. How about if we apply How about if we apply your 425.404 definitely our system work will collapse because the capacity of the four limit state is a way less than your block shear. So kaya ang kino-consider natin in having your force is the least allowable force that we can solve from your limit states. Now, let's have your next problem. The next problem given to you is a two-plate shown in the figure that is joined by four 25mm rivets. So, the allowable shearing is 70 megapascal. The allowable tensile on tensile stress the allowable tensile stress on net area of the plate is 100 megapascals. The allowable bearing stress on contact area between the rivet is 140 megapascals. For the next problem, we are given with two plates shown in the figure, which is joined by 425mm rivets. The allowable shearing stress is 70 megapascals. The allowable tensile stress on net area of the plate is 100 megapascal. And the allowable bearing stress on contact area between the rivet and the plate is 140 megapascals. So since we are considered, we are given only with shearing, tension on net area, and the allowable bearing, we will only consider that four, or three, sorry, three limit states. So the first one is the shearing. So for the allowable shearing that is 70 megapascals. The allowable shearing stress is 70 megapascals. We can equate this with the actual shearing stress which is P over your AV. So this is 70 equals P over we have 4 volts Pi over 4, the air, diameter of each bolt is 25. Therefore, the value of P is equal to 137.445 kilonewton. So, we will take this, take note on this. Next is our, let's have first the allowable bearing stress. So, for our allowable bearing stress, this is given as 140 megapascals. And the area of bearing is equal to your summation of your diameter times your thickness. So that is 4 times diameter is 25 times thickness. The thickness of our plate is, according to the problem, the thickness, we have 14 millimeter thick and 10 millimeter thick. So again, we will select the thinner one 
Kasi yung failure natin for very, mas vulnerable or mas prone yung failure sa mas manifest na plate. So, that is 10. So, this is equal to One thousand square millimeter. Therefore, your force P, which is equal to your allowable bearing stress times the area of bearing, which is one forty times one thousand. Therefore, your bearing in kilo newton. This is equal to one forty kilo newton. So, that is 140 kilonewton. So, now, remember the values. Again. So, now, let's have your tearing or tension on net area. Sorry. Yung lapping. So, this is the given figure. We have 1, 2, 3, 4. The 4 volts is arranged by this. This one has a 14 millimeter thick and the other one has 10 millimeter thickness but the width yung this one yung width nito is 130 and the other one yung width naman nito is 150 so pareho natin silang i-consider or is solve kasi the difference between the two Mas makapal nga yung thickness nito, pero yung width nito, mas maliit. The other one, the way, other way around naman, mas malaki yung width, pero mas manipest yung thickness. So, how we are going to solve this? In solving your critical net section, pwede, kay, pwede tayong mag-cut ng section here. Yan, that is your bolt A. So, bolt A natin, when we cut, from your bolt A. Okay. So, ang in expose lang natin is the series of equilibrium from here. So, yung net area natin dyan is equal to the if we considering 14 millimeter thickness to ha. So, 14 millimeters muna tayo. Yung width natin is 130 minus 1 volt which is equal to 25 times the thickness of 14 or sorry since we have a hole magpa plus tayo so yung diameter ng bolt natin is 25 but this is a hole hole yung consider natin mag plus tayo ng 1.6 so, we will have 26.6 millimeters. So, this is 26.6. So, our net area is equal to 26.6 times 40. 130 minus 20. So, that is 1447.8 square millimeters. Okay. And... If that's a long A, your force P for that, since the allowable force or shear stress rather is 100, your force P, that is your area times your 100, which is the allowable stress, and it will give you 144.76 kilo newton. But we are not yet done whether this is the critical net area or not. How about if we are exposing or we are considering that the tearing happens on this side with your bolt, let's say that is bolt B and C. So, pag nangyari yung bolt B and C, meron tayo mga forces. This one, this one, this one. So, meron tayong principle of equilibrium. So, we can say, for us to resist this tensile force given here, meron tayong apat na volts na nagahati-hati for the tensile force. So, if this is your tensile force P, 
Therefore, kung apat sila, that is, for a direct load, that is P over 4. P over 4 and P over 4. Now, since we are considering this BC failure, so for the BC failure, your AN along BC, that is 130 minus twice the diameter of the holes, which is 26.6, multiplied to 14. The value is 1,075.2 square millimeters. How about for the value of P? So, what is the value of P? Since meron tayong P na nandito, we have P, then yung one-fourth of that P is already experienced or na-resist na siya ng A. So, the remaining P na na i-apply natin with force B, C, and D is that is your P minus your yung P na applied sa A which is P over 4. Yan yung P natin. That is equal to your allowable stress which is 100 times your area of 1075.2 square millimeter. So, yung P natin, let's say that your P is equal to one hundred forty three point three six zero. So, that is the value of P in 14 millimeters. You can also, how about when D? Kapag ka sa D naman, yung P natin, also your AN is equal to this, yung P natin, that would be P minus 3 fourths. So that is 1 fourth of P times 100 for the allowable, and your A area is 1447.8 divide by or multiplied by 4. Or divide by 1 fourth. So definitely, ang lalabas na tayo sa atin is 579.120. So hindi na natin siya i-consider kasi definitely, ang kinukuha kasi natin is the least value of P. So masyado na siyang malaki for this too. So ngayon, consider na lang natin how about if the failure happens with the 10 millimeter thick plate. Now, consider that the failure happens with the 10 millimeter thick plate. So that is your AN. The width is 150 minus 1 volt for A, that is 26.6 times 10 for the thickness. So that is 1,234 1, square millimeter. And your force P is your allowable stress times your area, which is 100 times 1, 2, 3, 4. Or simply, this is 1, 2, 3, 0.4 kilo newton. How about if your path is BC again? So we have 150 minus twice of 26.6 times 10. So that is 968 square millimeters. So, for 968 square millimeters, again, your P is equal to P minus P over 4, 
which is equal to your allowable stress of 100 and 968 square millimeter. Therefore, your P is equal to 1,000 or 129.066 kilo newton. So let's take a note with our values. If you can remember, this is the value of your P and this one. In previous value natin for our shear, that is 137.445 for shear to ha. For bearing, that is 140 kilonewton. Yung previous, yung previous naman, we have 1, For the previous, we have, I think, 143 something and the other one is 144. So, the list among those solved values of P is 123.4. So, this is the safest value of P na pwede natin apply sa tension members and connect, bolt connection natin. So, that is the greatest tensile force na pwede natin i-apply sa system natin. So, that's how we are going to solve for an actually loaded tension members and bolted connection.